Hey everybody, so we had a question from a, uh, a viewer um, a couple days ago and I was going to try to do a video on it just to see if I could answer your question. Uh, a while back we've done a GP replacement on the 2011 MacBook Pros. Uh, I'll link it up here so you can see that. Uh, that goes uh, to our uh, GP replacement. Uh, but this customer said that he's replaced the GPU um, and he booted it up and it was showing like pink lines through the screen. Uh, so thinking that maybe it was a defective GPU, he went in and replaced it again um, and the result was the exact same pink lines in the screen. And I've come across this before when doing GPUs and um, I found out that uh, there's actually uh, some, uh, I'll just show you on the schematics here. Let me pull up the schematics for you. Let's see. All right. So right here we have our board view of the, uh, this is the 2011 uh, MacBook Pro, this is the 15 inch. His particular one was the 17 inch, but I'll show you because I'm more experienced with the 15 inch. And it's the same concept to the 17 inch, which I'll show you on the schematics that it, it matches. Uh, but here on page uh, 78 of the uh, 15 inch schematics, the 820-2915, you can see the VRAM bomb option table. And this is for uh, your AMD straps for identifying your VRAM, which is your video RAM vendor and size uh, for Whistler. The Whistler is your um, AMD GPU. So as you notice here, um, you have different options. And let me just zoom in one more time here for you. So if you have Samsung uh, VRAM on your board and it's one gig of VRAM, and then it gives you different options. It says the VRAM for this right here, um, your R8613, uh, it gives you the option, no, there's not going to be one there. Then uh, your R8612, no, you won't have one there either. Then R8611, uh, yes, you would have a strap there. And uh, let me just show you where these are located on the, uh, the board. So you have, here's your GPU, this is on the bottom side of the board. Uh, and right here are the straps. And you see R6, or 8613, that's this one. R8612 and R8611. So on, you'll see the most common one to have is the 8611. Let me just show you. I have a board here. You remove the uh, the heat sink, and right here, next to the GPU, you'll see this uh, row of where um, either pads or resistors are there, and these are your straps. So let me just show you under the microscope. So here we have, um, let me get a pointer. So right here are your straps. You'll see ones located here as well. But on this one, uh, these, these straps, let me pull up the board view again, uh, is a, the, for the Samsung 512 uh, meg megabyte RAM. You have no, no, no. So there's no straps on any of those. So let's see. On this side we have, what do we have for our VRAM? We have uh, Hynix, so let's see. Oh, this is, how much RAM does this have? This is one gig. So, okay, and this is different per um, your Whistler chip as well, so your GPU. So you have a bunch of different options. Uh, this can be a little complicated because this particular um, schematic is for the 820-2915. However, the 2915 covers all of your 2011 MacBook Pro boards, and this can be anywhere from 2.0 all the way up to 2.5 gigahertz. Um, so you have a lot of different options for these boards. Um, and so what I've come to find out, the particular GPU that we get, we only buy one kind of GPU uh, because this GPU that we buy Tim's to, it's the strongest, it lasts the longest, and we want to offer that to our customers who have their GPU failing on these. We want to do the best repair and the most, the, the longest repair we can offer. Um, so we use one particular GPU. Now, what seems to be common, this is a 2.5 board and a 2.4 board have the same issue. What we have to do when we replace the GPU, we have to put, let me go back to the uh, microscope here. We have to put a strap on this one at the top and sometimes this one here, depending on if it's a 2.4 or 2.5. So we have to add uh, 
a resistor there uh, on this, the top one, which is the uh, 8613 and the 8612. Uh, we have to add a strap on that particular, in those particular places. Now, the way we figure that out, uh, for a while we did the same thing that our customer or our um, viewer messaged us about getting pink lines on the screen and we would replace a GPU again and we're still getting pink lines it must be just a bad board well it ended up being that uh, those straps had to be added onto the board uh, for it to be uh, functional uh, so your VRAM and your Whistler are compatible together then so um, if you're having this issue where you got pink lines on your screen after replacing the GPU and you're certain that it's not a, just an effective GPU add a strap on one of those um, those lines or, or the, one of those spots on the 8612 or the 8613 and um, a lot of times this is going to fix it now you can try different combinations because you know, like I mentioned you have so many different combinations of boards as well as uh, VRAM uh, so try adding the resistor on just the top one and then go ahead and add it on 8612 as well had both of them if that doesn't work remove that one on 8613 and just leave it on 8612. Uh, you're going to have to try different combinations to see if it you know, works with the type of GPU that you're getting on your board. Um, and if you get it right, it'll boot up and uh, you'll have a perfectly uh, good screen and everything will work great. So uh, like I mentioned, this is uh, the straps and it's located on uh, the page 78 of the 15 inch board, uh, schematics 8, uh, 820 2915. Now when you go to 8202914, this is located on page 79, um, and it's the same type, but the, you'll notice that there's not as many options. You have the Samsung 1 gig and the Hynix 1 gig, because uh, so, there wasn't as many uh, VRAM options offered on the 17 inch, they were all 1 gig. So um, you'll just have to try different combinations again on those particular boards, um, on the 8613, 8612, and 8611 and uh, just see if you can get the right combination so that you can get your your screen working to get rid of those pink lines and get it back to working um, and let me look up and see what type of resistor this is for you the 8613 it's um, it's all this information right here you'll see I'll just let you look at that on your screen so you can have it so that's that's the information that's it's pretty much almost just like a jumper um, really it, it's it doesn't offer much resistance at all um, it's pretty much just like a wire a jumper that you can have there um, and so I uh, hope this helps you out hope you're able to figure out you know if you're having this issue with the pink lines on the screen after replacing your GPU hope this gives you uh, a little hint on what to try next because uh, it took us a while to figure it out and it was a pain because we actually had a lot of boards stacked up that we just thought or bad boards but ended up being just needed to figure out the the straps and where they go and uh, so anyways I hope that helps you out hope it's informative for you and uh, uh, see you next time hope you have a great day